Yo, Kimitachi, Hisashiburi dana, and welcome to Spring Yard Zone. Probably one of the few stages in all of Sonic that uh, will have a lasting impact on the series, at least in terms of level um, aesthetic. As you can tell, it's pretty unique compared to the previous stages because, as you can notice, tell. There's a city in the background. Initially, you probably think that South Island only had animals and insects and giant jungles. Along with uh, the type of area that Marvel Zone was. But no, it would seem that it even has what seems to be a construction site, which is what I believe Spring Yard Zone to be. And... That was quite the weird enemy we just went into that I failed to kill. It kind of looked like, I don't know, Eggman probably designed it like Sonic because it was blue and it even rolls like we do. But anyway, yeah, Spring Yard Zone it has quite the interesting gimmicks and the quite the interesting aesthetic along with uh, bumpers, a multitude of bumpers. But, uh, yeah, this stage has, um, quite the, quite, uh, interesting setup for, quite the interesting version of, um, platforms. It has ones that raise up and down. You have the, you have those column-like ones where you have to maneuver in and out of them. And, of course, avoid getting crushed because you have tiny spaces, you have tiny little gaps of space when you're moving in and out of each one so be mindful of that and you have platforms that are basically like stairs but they uh, move from left to right and you have long uh, gaps of pits that lead straight to springs yeah this uh, this zone has quite a bit. Not a lot, though. It's the probably the most gimmicky uh, zone in the entire game. Here we are once again in a special stage. Luckily, it's another uh, maze type one because the giant open area, like special stage three, yeah. Like I said before, it's it's a lot more tricky to do that because you gotta worry about the maneuvering of Sonic. And mazes, eh, it's relatively straightforward. You can take a... You won't find yourself falling straight downward like in the uh, open area ones. But still be mindful. I got another continue. Now you can see right here, I'm uh, playing it a little too safe because I kept falling back. Let's say fourth special stage. No, this is the fifth. Ugh, my counting. Yosh! Fifth Chaos Emerald acquired. I love that jingle. In fact, the music and the music, the jingles, the sound effects of Sonic, it's all so pristine. But I'll go more in depth with God dang it. Ugh. I hate that. It's nothing worse than playing a stage and you get hit. Especially when you know the zone like I do. Ah! <laughs> My spacing! Ugh! It's the worst thing about playing Sonic sometimes. It's the type of, like I said, it's the type of game that uh, incentivizes your mastery of it. It wants you to be the best player possible. But... <laughs> 
depending on the type of player you are, once you do master the game like I did, it really grades on your nerves when you get hit like that. But anyway, the real topic that I was getting to. Um Yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog is quite the polished game, especially in its aesthetic and um its sound, its auditory uh sense. Not only is the art the character art of Sonic and even Eggman and the robots pretty pretty nice. I like the cartoonish aesthetic. It really works. It has has an anime esque style to it. With a little bit of influence from uh American cartoons. And the music is quite something. If it it seems like the sound direction was to um to fit each area specifically as opposed to have like one specific sound but every but every zone has only one theme some games you'll have different themes um through each section like in like if you know if you have two um levels of one area um some games you'll typically Wait a minute. Why am I getting distracted? What I need to focus on at the moment is getting this last emerald. Which is actually pretty easy considering how, unlike Special Stage 3, this is a big opium area that doesn't have me going all over the place. Come on, get in there, Sonic. Yosha! Sonic got them all! Now we can go through the rest of the game like a breeze. Now what was I saying? Oh yeah. The music of Sonic is quite something. But like I, but was but specifically what I was saying last was that in Sonic it was seen that they chose to only keep to one theme for each act. Each individual um level of the area some platformers have had different themes for like the different sections of levels like admit, like some uh some not a lot really did it at this time in gaming the only one I can think of at the moment um Oh, lost my shield. I would probably say rock man, but that's only if you go, say if you, um, that's only if you had like a mid boss though, like in the, in the level, like in rock man, uh, seven, uh, rock man X one. But, uh. The music is really good. I especially love Spring Yard Zones. Oh god, getting hit. But in Spring Yard Zone, if you just listen to it, it's like a, it has like this jazz vibe. And I especially love the, um, the use of like this, um, like this little chime sound to it. I especially love the invincibility theme. It, it's like very, it's very fast paced. And it's very like a very triumphant, heroic type theme. Do 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 Like I love that. Like, ah, how can you not love that? And it really does fit the area because it's a lot, it's a slower paced area. 
And the tempo of the song is very slow paced. Hmm. Like it just it just works. Green Hill is a little more faster paced, and it was a uh, bright, beautiful, luscious area. So the song um, had that vibe to it too. Just you know, had that happy, kind of like a happy-go-lucky kind of vibe to it. Marble Zone. Um, a little more of a severe level, you know. Yeah, lava. It was more. It was a lot more gray, a little more dull. Had more trap. Oh god, that was too big of a gap. That's one reason why I don't like sky levels. The drop, that that like that f the fall. Ugh, I hate that. But yeah, go ahead and take the yeah. Don't need, don't get. That's one pit that you don't need to be scared of. But that pit is. That's a bottomless pit there. Make sure you do not fall. Dokta. Especially. As you can see, Eggman's tactic here is to use a spike out of his, uh, out of his ve oh, out of his vehicle. And once he he'll take a block and then raise it up. And once he takes all your blocks, then it, it is, you're a gunner. So I would suggest hit him two times, and then and then just step away from him, and you'll be perfectly fine. I typically like to do the left platforms first. That way, I won't have to worry about trying to jump over. Uh, the if 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 he takes all the blocks on the right, I don't have to worry about fucking myself over when I jump over to get to the end. You know, just a precaution. A labyrinth zone. La huh? Interesting. We go from a giant construction area to. What seems to be an underground water palace or something? Ah, uh, whatever. But it's called Labyrinth Zone, so I can expect it to be more maze-like than the previous levels. Alrighty. Huh. It would appear that in this zone that we have a lot more of a slow pace compared to um, marble zone and even the and even bits of spring yard and it was seen my latest obstacle seems to be water we seem to move pretty slowly in water and we have sp spike balls on, well spike well spike balls attached to chains and spikes underwater Oh, gotta be careful of those platforms. They rise up. If you stay on them too long, you'll more than likely get crushed. You'll get sandwiched by it in the spike. And those right there, want want that special sound. Those are air bubbles, and you're gonna need them because if you noticed in the past couple um, moment, in the past moment since we've been underwater this long. There's a little chime, a little dinning that happens every second or so. That is a timer for how much air you have left, how much time you have left to breathe. You have about 10 seconds. And when you get to five, um, well, uh, you better get out the water. Let's just hope that we never see what happens. If it completely counts down. But, um, moving on. In water, as you probably no doubt tell, Sonic actually jumps and moves a lot slower. And it kind of has, it kind of affects Sonic's jump in a good way. It makes it, it makes his jump floatier. And that actually aids you in your the timing of your jump. Because with that extra floatiness, that extra air time, or water time, whatever. The extra amount of time that you have suspended in midair is a lot longer if you are outside of water. Which will actually allow you to position which will allow you to position yourself properly 
to the next uh, place that you're trying to jump to. Especially if you're trying to land on a uh, robot. But it could be treacherous if you're trying to dodge um, an enemy from going above you or something. Because if you try to duck to avoid an enemy, then uh, yeah. You're more than likely going to get hit because you're moving too slow. And the frames per second... It... Oh, another new enemy. That one's odd. I have a feeling that he might be one of those enemies that will focus up on the frames per second being slow under... Ow! God! I don't want to be surprised when I'm running around and talking about my gameplay. Jesus. But yeah, be careful. Uh, there's one specific thing about Labyrinth Zone that I find makes it far easier to trek through. Because on your first playthrough of this level, believe me, it's going to be annoying. You're more than likely going to die quite a bit due to uh, drowning. Or you're just going to take forever and a day because you want to take it slow and not get hit by everything. <coughs> but typically speaking, the way I find to play this zone the best is to... Take your time. Actually take your time. Because Burrowbots, those last, I, I believe that's what they're called. I forget. And these enemies known as Jaws. And this, oh! That robot known as an, uh, I actually forgot his name. But we'll go over that in the extra aerial. Basically, the robots of Labyrinth Zone, they are meant to, you know, catch you off guard. Not necessarily Jaws, but, um... But the Burrow Bot is, though. That's the thing. So, be mindful. Take your time. Try to look for the little spike in the ground. That's your indication of where the burrow bot would be positioned. And uh, the round, the round uh, robot with the spikes hovering around it. That's probably the, he's only gonna really be a bother to you if he's positioned at like Sonic's height. If he's if he's levitating as tall as Sonic, and uh, the best way to dodge it is just to duck. But if he's lower than that, like closer to the ground as opposed to more mid, in like a mid-air position, then the best way to do that is just to try to jump over the spikes in time. But if you're underwater, then it's probably going to be harder because your frames per second drop. You're slower in water, like I said, like I said before. So it's going to be more tricky to go through those two. So you really got to be careful. So, Labyrinth Zone, take it slow. I know the name of the game is to go fast, right? But some levels, remember, it's a platformer too. Take your time. I love Labyrinth Zone. So oh, see, right here. This is how you got to go about it. Just like that. See, take your time. And uh, another thing, too, to get through Lavin Zone, make sure, make sure you come up to an air bubble. Ow! See, I didn't have enough time to duck when I landed, so I got hit. But um, in Lavin Zone, every time you come up to a patch of air bubbles st take a moment to stop just take a moment to stop wait for one and and um gulp some air like do not take the chance don't get cocky if you if you think you can all right go ahead be a daredevil but if you're more cautious like i am you don't want to take a death go ahead and just stop get an air bubble or two 
Cause there's some. Cause you can't misjudge uh, yourself in Labyrinthome. Believe me. And that was a new obstacle, waterfall. Interesting start to the level. To uh, uh, here's one thing. That waterfall is uh, infinite uh, drop. You'll constantly go down that uh, waterfall if you don't uh, jump properly. You see, you would think that you would be fine jumping and holding the direction that you're trying to jump to, but no, it's gonna gimp your jump. You only you're gonna stop short. So what you want to do at that waterfall to jump off properly is to hold the opposite direction of where you're trying to jump to. So if you're going, so if you're falling down right, you want to hold left and jump to get the proper amount of distance and vice versa. And that opening after we hit the switch, uh, you have about, uh, what, I believe three, four seconds before it closes on you. So make sure you jump through uh, in time. If you don't, you have another chance to go to, um, to do it again because it is an infinite uh, drop. But what it does is it puts you back at the start. Oh, no. Hurry up. Get one. Huh. Yeah, that's why you uh, really don't want to drown. That's one reason why I was... Well, one of the main points of this part was me talking about the music of Sonic and the jingles of Sonic. Because their attention to detail is quite something. That jingle right there. The drowning jingle. Man, that puts fear in your heart. Like, if that, if that, I, like, this is one game that really, you know, makes sure that you are immersed in the experience. Because I can't tell you how many times I've been close to drowning or I actually, uh, every time I get to the five seconds, I get so tense. I feel like I'm about to shit my britches sometimes. No, really. That's how tense the drowning music makes you. That's why you gotta take your time. Every time you get to a patch of air bubbles, t get an air bubble. Do not be a daredevil. Because you will regret it. Sometimes you get lucky. Doctor! And this is one case where you actually take your time, but go through it. This boss seems to be more like a gauntlet. Because, ah. Uh, it's mainly an obstacle course, it would seem. Dodging those lava spitting statues and those spikes. And getting out of here fast enough before the water rises. Last thing you want to do, drown. But we made it through safe because we played smart. No, we got you, Doctor. No! Ah, could have caught him. Oh well. We'll get you in the next part, Doctor.